all right hi guys welcome back to my fucking channel um right now we're at sephora and we're gonna go shop a couple of things i'm not shopping a lot to be honest and to be honest it's a new sephora that i've never been to it's pretty weird it's like at this plaza like at a strip mall or something like that and upstairs i have apartments or whatever and i don't think i'm gonna film but i want to show you what i got so let me go shop and then i'll come back okay guys welcome back oh my god bitch i just went to sephora okay bitch i'm back wow nine dollars for this fucking small little thing I'm going to replicate this right now. I'm going to go to G um, Trader Joe's and I'm going to buy all the ingredients that I she do to she use for this juice and I'm going to redo that. Anyway, I went to Sephora. Let me give you a little Sephora haul. I will come back to the Sephora all the time now. This Sephora is so fucking cute. It has everything that I ever wanted. But let me show you what I got. First and foremost, I got a little free thing. These samples because they're having like this Barbie event. I love samples, but these are mostly skincare I see. Let me see what from here I have used and what for here I have used. We're going to go through it all. So these are what I got for free samples. So I got a Laneige sleeping mask. I've used this before. Laneige water bank Hello chronic acid moisturizer I've used this before the serum I've never used before another serum they shoot me wow the bum bum cream used Kiehl's moisturizer used I have it on my car here in the bumper thing used obviously Amika Dream Routine Overnight Hydration Treatment. Have not used. And last but not least, Good Girl. Colorina Rare I use. Have it at home. Okay, so that's the free samples for the Barbie events. I spent so much money. Well, what the fuck? Okay, so I got one thing for my kit. And that was the Cinema Secrets thing. To wash clean brushes. You know this. I've used it before. Um, I also bought for my kids a um, Charlotte Tilbury setting spray because, you know, I ran out of mine, so I bought another one, so now I have two little ones. I was going to buy the big, the big one, but I didn't, I, I don't have money, bitch, I'm poor. Then I also bought a perfume, oh my god, so I literally smell all the perfume that I haven't smelled in so long. And I fell in love with this one. This one is, smells so good on me. And it's perfect because for the things that I want to do. Let me see how many ounces this has. Two, okay, point twenty-five. Love that. This one smells like amazing. This is Juliet has a gun just for sun. Oh my god, it smells so fucking divine. Oh, delicious love how this smells so i got that 30 fucking dollars for this little thing but you know what i love it I, i'm obsessed with it so this is gonna be my new per summer perfume to be at home because you know i don't go out anymore and i got the color wow extract strength because i bought the not the regular one but i didn't like how it didn't do anything for my hair so i bought the extra strength so see if that will do something for my hair and then with my sam with my samples with my points i got the premier crew cuddly cream love this stuff i get it on discount so i didn't buy a sephora the charlotte tilbury magic cream pillow talk and serum elixir sample the summer friday jet lag mask i have this mask at home i don't know why i got a sample of it like what the fuck I'm wasting my fucking points and the CEO was under Riley. Love this serum. Used it before, but I ran out. But I, it's always good to have a vitamin C. So that's all I got from Sephora, bitch. Now I'm going to go and try myself to sleep for spending $100. Literally $100 fucking dollars on that shit. 
and my little smoothie. So fucking good, but I can remake this. Let's be honest. Okay, so I really want somebody to have to give me their Sephora discount because I am tired of spending money on Sephora, bitch. Like I I feel like Sephora should have. I'm not saying that make as you know, I don't want to sound entitled because honestly, like I get it. You know, makeup artists make a lot of fucking money and stuff. Oh my god, this car is fucking stupid. Like, I get it. Makeup artists make a lot of fucking money. So, like, we shouldn't be wanting free makeup. You know, like, I get it. We shouldn't get free makeup. But I guess we should get an artistry discount. You know how, like, Bobby Brown Makeup Forever give you, like, 30% when you're a makeup artist? Off. I feel like Sephora should do the same thing for makeup artists. Like, I'm sorry, but, like, we buy, like, every single fucking week. If I could buy my favorite mascara for 30% off, I will buy it. I will buy bulk of it, bitch. I will literally suck the industry's dick just to get that mas my, mas my favorite mascara for my kid for, like, 30% off. I need, like, right now, you know, the mascara that I love is $3, and I'm not changing that again until I find another mascara for cheap that I absolutely love. And because there's nothing that I out here that is good enough for me to change what I'm doing right now, I'm not going to change it. So I think that is, I mean, honestly, like I get it. We're not working for Sephora, so they don't own us, which is why, you know, other brands, the brand, individual brands give us um, discounts like Bobby Brown, NARS, Makeup Forever, they give us 30%. Because, you know, we love that brand. It's amazing for makeup artists to use. It is such, it is just a great brand. It's just, they're just great brands to use as, a, to make, as for makeup artists, you know. I love it. Um, you know, whatever. But I don't mind, honestly, spending the money on Sephora either. But sometimes, like, I honestly, I, I feel like for me, okay, let me give you, let me be honest. For me, the reason why a discount is for my personal gain. It's like for me, for to buy my things at a discount. Because if I need to buy something for my kid, I'm just gonna buy it, to be honest. Like, discount or not, like, I need to buy it. So, I don't have an issue spending the money because I have to do it. But if it's something for me, for myself, like, I'd rather go to, oh my god, I forgot to go to Home Goods. There's a Home Goods right there. I do want to see how good it is. So, I'm gonna come back. this location next time bitch I think I'm lost I don't know where am I going I don't know if this is the right way <laughs> oh I think it is yeah I think it is actually is it let me see the mall I don't know, bitch. If I get lost, I'll just say goodbye to you. So, anyway, um, oh no, I'm not lost. I don't think. Whatever. Anyway, bitch, thank you so much for watching my little haul, my little Sephora haul. And if you work at Sephora, be give me your discount, bitch. Share with a bitch that is broke, okay? Share with me. I promise that I won't steal your points. Literally, even when I... Okay, so you know that I quit Sephora in 2020. I was Rouge for another year. So I was Rouge 2021. And I still shop at Sephora. But I was using Jemima's account to shop. Because, you know, I was just buying a bunch of shit. Building my kid and stuff. And for myself. And... Tell me how... I I I I ever like I've been rouge for the past five years, and it's not because I shop a lot; it's because I buy a lot of high price items, and I have over twenty thousand fucking points, and I don't use them to be honest. That I don't like. I barely. I rarely like anything that they have, and I just wait to use them on something more important or something more cool and more prettier. 
that goes with me. Like, I don't know. I don't know, baby girl. I don't fucking know. But anyway, um, I'm gonna do okay. So next time I'm gonna go. Okay, okay, okay. Actually, no, I'm not gonna pro make fake promises. Anyway, oh my god, this fucking car! I swear to fucking god, it's over here is fucking Hondas. I mean Toyotas. So it's fucking Toyotas. I'm kidding. <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching my vlog. I love you, and I hope to see you in my next vlog, bitch. And remember that in the next couple of vlogs, in like in the, maybe the next 20 vlogs, in the next 40 vlogs, I'm going to show you something exciting, bitch. And you're going to be so excited for everything that I'm going to be vlogging because, you know, I'm going to have something, I'm going to have an, an exciting life in the next couple of weeks, so. And I know I didn't, okay, let me address this now. My last vlog on my way to Sephora, I was having a little mental breakdown. If you didn't watch it, please go watch it. But it wasn't a mental breakdown, it just made me emotional because, you know, my dead uncle. And I realized while having a little therapy with you, bitch, that I have unprocessed trauma with my uncle's death that I didn't, you know, deal with. And I, I recognize that. I, when he died, I did not deal with his dad. I didn't mourn, what do you call it? When, you, when someone dies and you basically, like, be sad for a couple of months and then you move on. I never had that because I was never, like, I will, it didn't hit me until, like, years later, his death. And I think I haven't, like, processed it. Which is fine. Like, let's be honest. Like, that's totally fine. But I feel like I'm probably going to talk to my therapist about it. And I'm going to be okay because I shouldn't, I shouldn't not be able, I shouldn't put not going to the R as the catalyst of my own but my i shouldn't have my uncle's death as the catalyst of why i don't like going to the r you know and in my mind i hate going to the r because i don't want to I, I, my, some of the people that i love are not there but i do have people that i love there that i should go and they shouldn't be um punished with my decision of not going to the r because my other people that died you know what i mean and i don't know i just need a lot to, i i just have a lot to figure it out and I, like I said again, like I'm sorry that my content went from psychotic to like to not unhinged to psychotic to like sad bitch. I'm here to share my experience with life, and this channel for me is like my little diary of my everyday things that I want to remember about me, and I want to remember that I was a crazy bitch because I know when I'm older, I'm gonna be so much calmed down, and I'm not gonna be as mentally unstable. Okay, because I'm fixing that. But I love myself, whether or not I'm mentally unstable or not. So this is nice to know that I have emotions. And I am happy that I recognize, um, that I have the ability to recognize that I need to work on certain things. Whether or not they're good or bad, you know? So, yeah. Alright, bitch. Have a great fucking day. And I hope you like everything that I bought. Bye. Okay, I, need, I was gonna leave, but look at this. Too fine. That's right, bitch. You're too fucking fine. It's probably a girl, by the way. <laughs>